Hello everybody, welcome back to another brand new Aviation Jack video. Hope you're doing really good. So, um, this was a requested video. Someone asked me to, um, how do you install Reshade and use it, basically. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be, well I'm going to be showing you how to install Reshade. We're going to get straight to the point. All the links in the, will be in the, oh god, all the links will be in the description below which you need to use. Or some of them are optional actually, but... I'll get to that in a minute. So first of all, you want to come to a website called reshade.me because this is actually essentially the program that you're using. And of course, you want to click this nice purple button that says download. We you get taken down here. This was released on January the 9th. You want to press download reshade 4.9.1. Bam. And then here we go, we have reshade setting up. Show in folder. And then what you want to do, you want to press run as administrator. And yes, here we are now. What you're going to be greeted, hello. What you're going to be greeted with is this lovely little reshade box installation thing. So it's pretty simple as what it says here, which is click here, select a game, and manage its reshade installation. That's what we're going to do. And what you want to do here, you want to browser and find your prepare 3D v5 folder. So you want to come to where your p3D is saved. For example, local disk C is mine, program files, Lockheed Martin, and prepare 3D v5. You want to scroll down, and it has to be this one here, the prepare 3D.exe file, because that is a program. So you want to do prepare3d.exe, click on that, file name, here it is, and then press open. Then it takes you to this. Pre3D v5 and v4 and all that all uses direct 3D uh, 10, 11, or 12. Pre3D v5 is 12, and we're going to click that. As you can see, I've already got a reshade installed, but I'm going to click update for now. You guys won't get this because it will just come to your little thing. Here we go. So once you uh, click that, you're going to get this, and all that you want is a standard effect, sweet effects effects, and then the legacy effect. Okay, I'll tell you why you just want these three. All of this is for like different games, not really important at all. And then what you want to do, you want to press OK. There we go, it's downloaded all of this. Now this brings you back to my next download. So Reshade uses presets, okay? If you want to have a preset already used, then this is the website I recommend you come to. The most popular reset, that popular reset that I see most people use is a Lucas Cavatoni reshade preset, which is this one here. All you want to do is click download on that and it puts it into a little zip file for you. Press show in folder, extract it. Here we go. And then you're going to get given this little INI file. Double click that and then this is the whole reshade preset by the way. This is a preset that you're using. Um, in here, it looks all difficult and confusing, right? But in reality, it's not because you don't really do half this stuff. What you do want to do though is up here, it has all of the effects that you need to use. You want to you want to get all of these effects and use every single one of them, okay? Because as you can see, it's all the effects. <laughs> wow, that uh, this um, preset uses. So if you look at all of these. All of these ones, then you want to come to your reshade and literally select all the ones that it uses within each one. But I'm going to do that, obviously, not on video because it's going to take me a little while to do that. But I'm going to do that and then we'll get to it. Okay, so we're going to pause the video here. I'm going to make sure you select all of these effects that it says in the any file because that's the effect that I use. Right, okay, uh, so I've just finished that. It took me a good 20 minutes, um, just like quite a while. Then what we want to do, just to be safe, do not ask me why you do this, I read it somewhere, I've also watched a video on it somewhere, like a few videos, and um, I don't know what the actual reason for it is, I have no problems with it personally. But you've got to come to your prepare 3 d v 5 cfg you can find that by doing uh, local app data roaming, and then it's in there. Um, you want to come to your P3D-CFG folder, then you want to go to UI hardware, which is here. You want to switch it to false. Um, I'm not sure why you do that. Uh, apparently you do. Um, obviously, click save. Once you've done that, close your CFG. Bam. And then you're going to come back to here again and do edit reshade settings. Here we go. And then you have all of this stuff. Skip tutorial, please. Yeah. Um, as you can see, at the moment, I am using my own preset. Um, but I do. But this does need to be like changed. Because... Um, I'm, I'm sure you had to someone else's preset. So we're gonna click the three dots, and then you want to come to your downloads. Here it is. Oh, actually, in actual fact, mm, I mean, you don't really have to put it there at all. Actually, table we'll do something different. Um, come to your preset here, cut it, go to where your sim is installed. Lockheed Martin, Lockheed Martin, Lockheed Martin. Here we go. Prepare 3v5 where it's stored. Paste it in there. 
and then what will happen is it will give you your preset will be in the p3d folder um it just makes it easier so you can get rid of all your other folders then here you go p3d v5 and have all your presets here you want the p3d dot any one press open your effects path or your texture path this is actually very um there we go reshade oh hello p3d v5 reshade shaders and then oh where's the effects folder oh god have i messed anything up um okay don't worry about that one we'll just do the texture folder which is already is in here cool nice but yeah that's basically it just press ok i need to kind of have a look into that one you should have an effects and a text and a texture folder i'm not sure why it's not exactly popped up here but yeah whatever i'll deal with that in a minute uh press ok on that then you're good then you can uh close it which is absolutely fine and then that's it really or if you just go to your next step is go to p3d so let's open up p3d and get that sorted just going to quickly mention what happened here um this is it's just a shaders folder like your effects bath is your shaders folder i'm not sure why i had like corgi 2x3 in there but um yeah you should get this default um if not just head to this thing and just select the folder this path and set the folder but that's literally it but um, just so I can clear that up before I move on any further. Anyway, now we can get into the simulator and start setting up okay, reshading. Good. So once you've uh, navigated to your P3D, you want to press run as administrator, of course, because it's very important that you run it as administrator. Minimize that. Wait for P3D to load. Oh, there we go. A few shaders and that loading in by the looks of it. Or possibly scenery, actually. It's probably scenery. Bam, and here we go. It says here, reshade 4.9.1. Oh, it disappeared. Don't worry. As you can see, it looks good. Anyway, change vehicle, and then you want to choose your aircraft that you're flying in. Um, we're not going to choose, we are going to choose actually something a bit more interesting, because I, I feel like it. Um, let's go with the Ryanair 737 really quickly. I know it's just a tutorial, but if you want to make it look as good as possible, we'll go to Dublin. Uh, we'll go 127, default time. Wait for the sim to load in. I'll probably just sit here and show you actually. Here we go. Um, so yeah, once your sim's loaded in, we're going to set up the actual reshade in the home page. This bit is probably the most simple bit. Nothing too much to worry about here. Pretty simple. Here we go. In the sim. Welcome to Dublin, everybody. Cool. And then here we are. We currently have a reshade preset loaded in. Is it loaded in yet? I don't know. Anyway, go to home. And then here we have all of the reshaders that we literally just selected. And we've also selected the P3D ini file. Select. And then there we are. That is our reshade reshade folder done. Settings. Uh, this really isn't much to worry about. Nothing really here. Um, I suppose we could do the effect toggle key. Um, I don't know. Let's just should we click end. Yeah, for now, I'll just do end. Click off it. Right. So this is it without. Oh, wait. How do you do it? End. Right. This is it without the thing, without the preset. I think this is it with without with actually is it I've got to change my coloring because this is this isn't my preset so for anyone who hasn't really changed their colors it will look better trust me but that's it without that's it with pretty sure anyway yeah that's how you install it <laughs> hope that helped um I think it did obviously my one's a bit different to this one my one is the uh, my own select which looks like this so if you go and that's it without and that's it with my one's quite vibrant in color so if you wanted to use my one let me know without with I actually quite like my one to be fair I think mine looks quite nice but um, yeah that is literally it that's all you have to worry about um, so here's like yeah. a little takeoff tech takeoff like mid nose dive kind of test with what it looks like in the sim I actually do quite like it if you just have a look here, I think it, don't bear in mind, it's just like a little flight test, and I'm not going to be serious to know I'm flying here, but I actually quite like it now. It does start configuring with my um, HDR settings, and now it looks a lot better. Quite like it. Without. Oh, it's blurry without. With. Without. To be fair, the colours are still quite nice. Without. With. Without. With. Yeah, I do like it, you know. I actually quite like it a lot. I think I'm going to keep it. See me doing flights with this one now. Of 
got a nice crosswind here in Dublin. I'm trying to do this with one hand and the throttle. Right. God. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Oh, that's why I got speed brake out. Bounce. Oh, come on. I didn't realize it was floating. There we go. Welcome to Dublin. That crosswind is very heavy, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, I quite like the preset now I'm using it. It's quite nice. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you guys like it as well. So this video's kind of gone a bit messy, but I've got to show you it in real life, I suppose. Yeah, it pulls it there. Okay. <laughs> Didn't look too good in the end, did it? And yeah, uh, there we go. Hope this tutorial helped you. Um, so that was just one preset. That's how you install it, which is basically the basis of this video. In comparison. Yeah. Anyway, hope this video helped, and I'll see you all in another video very shortly. Bye-bye.